So then you just did the homework that walks you through exactly the same steps for the third equation. And again, you know, you, do, you identify your free variables and your dependent variable. You plug in, you choose your free variables to be equal to zero. You solve for your dependent variable that gives you a specific solution, which can then be visualized as such. And then to find vectors that map to zero, you take the equation, just set the right hand side to zero. You uh, set the free variables to one, zero and zero, one, and then solve for the dependent variable for two separate vectors. And for the first vector that looks like this, and for the second vector that looks like this. And then you have two vectors that do not point in the same direction that both map to zero. And you can visualize those as follows. And notice again that this time the vectors are not of the same length and they're not perpendicular to each other. And then we visualize the general solution as the null space that's been shifted by the specific solution or this plane that mapped to zero shifted by the specific solution and that gives us this uh, blue plane and notice that again because the two vectors are not perpendicular to each other it's actually a little bit hard to get a perspective of what's going on here Instead, see what happens if we make the two vectors perpendicular to each other. And again, how to do that, we will learn in week 11. And now we end up with a square that is part of the solution space. And notice that the specific solution uh, points to a point in that space.